Meteorites, you know, space rocks, they fall all over Earth, yet a whopping two-thirds of the ones we found have come from one location, a very specific part of Antarctica. Hi, I'm Cameron, and this is Minute Earth. Meteorites take a scorching trip through our atmosphere, so when they land on Earth, they are basically burnt on the outside and have pretty distinctive features. And over the eons, billions upon billions of meteorites have landed on Earth, but you've probably never stumbled across one. And there are a few reasons space rocks are so hard to find. For starters, more than two-thirds of the Earth is covered with water, so for all of the meteorites that actually get to Earth, most of them splash down into oceanic obscurity. For a meteorite to be discovered and studied, it has to land on land. But over hundreds of thousands of years, most meteorites are eroded and degraded by the elements, making them very hard to find over time. Dry places, on the other hand, keep meteorites in great condition. Plus, those dark space rocks are pretty easy to spot against a light-colored background. So most meteorites that are found are found in Earth's deserts. And it turns out that the biggest desert in the world is, you guessed it, Antarctica. But we don't find space rocks just anywhere in Antarctica. That's because most meteorites that land there fall on glaciers, and over time, more and more ice piles on top of the meteorite. And as the glaciers slowly flow outward like giant frozen rivers, they carry the embedded meteorites with them. Most glaciers flow straight into the ocean, depositing their meteorites into Cthulhu's collection, but others collide with mountain ranges, forcing the ice upward. Meanwhile, strong winds shear away the highest parts of the glacier, revealing deeper layers of ice and thousands of years of entombed meteorites. So Antarctica is perfectly primed to collect meteorites. It catches them with its huge surface area, keeps them on ice, and then piles them up in specific places. And conveniently, it even marks those places for us. The layers of ice preserving all of those meteorites were so compressed for so long that they've had all of the air squeezed out of them. They literally appear blue in the sunlight once they reach the surface. All scientists have to do is find blue ice, which is only in very specific regions, and gather up the meteorites that accumulate there. So of the 67,000 meteorites discovered and documented, some 42,000 have been found in Antarctica, and each year expeditions bring back nearly 1,000 more. We've learned all sorts of stuff from those meteorites, like how the planets we know and love, and even our own moon came to be, how meteorites might have brought water to Earth, as well as the organic molecules that made life here possible. But scientists estimate that the meteorites we've found so far are just the tip of the iceberg. They probably only represent about 13% of the space rocks locked up in Antarctica. So there are plenty more secrets left out there, lurking in the ice. Antarctica is not just the best place in the world to find meteorites, it's also home to an incredible ecosystem. We're actually working on a video about it right now in kind of an experimental style for us. If you want to enable us to experiment more, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash minuteearth. And if you want to support us in a different way, just download the free new Tab for Trees extension from our friends at Tab for a Cause by using the link in the description. Whenever you open up a new tab, not only will Minute Earth get a little bit of support, the rest of the ad revenue will go to Eden Restoration Projects, which help local communities around the world restore the wild habitats around them, which is pretty cool. Thanks so much for watching, and keep an eye out for that Antarctica video!